James is two of us. We get to be. But it's mostly like uh, like an everyman. It's a common name. And then uh, the devil is just the temptation. <laughs> Take a little bit of everything and mix it together. A little rap here and a little bit of rock here. Some hip hop, some bluegrass. Celtic stuff. Genre bending mountain rock. It's alive. It's definitely unique. I play the fiddle and, uh, you know, stand up there and play the fiddle. <laughs> and you're like stuck with a violin and you gotta get your instrument up to a level that's comparable to a damn rock and roll guitar. I've been, you know, playing with Jim since probably like 2005, and we've gone through, you know, different bands. But this is uh, this is the core, and this is the destination. It was pretty simple. It was just like everything kind of fell straight where it needed to be, you know. Lucky. It's great to have a band of brothers. Everything feels perfect. We write great music together, and um, we party together, and we hang out together. And Showed up at their house and I walked inside and all their furniture was pushed over in the corner and covered up with like a tarp and uh, thought I'd made a mistake and walked into some tweaker's house or something and walked downstairs and sure enough they were all drunk and I found, I figured out they're the perfect people for me to be playing music with. I mean when I saw my new two songs then I gotta be in this band. Jim pretty much writes the lyrics, um, and then we'll, he'll bring a new song to the table at rehearsal, and we'll, you know, Carpenter will start putting a bass line to it, and then you know Buzz will come on and he like, what about this lead or Dave? What about this? And you know, I, I throw a beat on it, and you know. You write it over, you know, several practices, and it becomes a song eventually. We're pouring all of our band money and stuff into our album and trying to really get our band further down the road with our money. If we can sacrifice and just pour everything, including our hearts and our money, into the band, we know it'll give back. So it's just a matter of just making that sacrifice. If you want to get ahead in this business, you really have to be on top of your game or else uh, you'll get left behind. People showing up to your shows repeatedly that you notice but you've never met or talked to. You know, fans that aren't friends, it's a, it's a good feeling. Knowing that we're playing music that we really like and then, you know, we wrote it from our hearts and we, is what we want to sound like and then to see someone else enjoy that is really rewarding. The fact that we can start playing for ghosts and we can end the night by lighting the place up. By the time we're done, it's a raging party. That's fulfilling too. Together, we're, we're rocking each other's world. So it's really good, it's really good feeling. So we do it every weekend. A lot of traveling, a lot of traveling. We, we try to stay busy three or four or five days out of the week. I've had my sh fair share of you know, gas station burritos and it was the most nerve wracking thing I've ever been through, still is. It's like, well, I can't stop when we're on the top of the pass. We have chains on already. We've ridden cliff walls down mountains. We've put two chains on every tire and every combination we could. I mean, we've done everything we can to get to these places, but I think the fans know we go through that. All the, all the gigs, all the days, all the everything kind of just lumps into one giant memory. I 
I've always idolized stars, you know, when I've seen people dancing or doing their thing. Just in their element, I've always thought I, I would love to be on that level. I've never been happier. I've never been happier. Just uh, we recorded our new album. It's the best album I've ever been a part of. I've been playing live since I was 16, so. Oh, I love it. Yeah, I definitely chose this path over other paths, and I, I'm not regretting a dang thing, so I'm good. <laughs> I like it. I love it. I wouldn't trade it for the world, yeah. Yeah, loving the ride. The winner is James and the We wanted to win, and you can't really paint any other pictures except for victory if you're going to lose, you know. <laughs>